Section 8.1b is about powers of monomials. These are some more rules that we need to learn with exponents. The first rule here is called the power of a power rule. And what it says is when you take a power to another power, you multiply the exponents. This rule is different than the last rule we learned in which we add the exponents, so really try hard not to confuse the two. Here's what it looks like. When you have a base to some power, call it m, and you take that to another power, then you end up multiplying m and n in this case. Another example, k to the 5th to the 9th is k to the 45th, because you multiply 5 times 9. So let's see some other examples. This is 3 to the 2nd to the 3rd to the 2nd. So in this case, because we're taking a power to another power and another power, you end up having to multiply all of those. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. So 3 to the 12th. Here's another exponent rule. It's called the power of a product. And that means when you find the power of a product, then you find the power of each factor and multiply. Another way of saying that is if you have something that's being multiplied in parentheses and you have an exponent outside, um, you can even treat this like a distributive property. The m has to be distributed to the exponent of all the, uh, the factors inside. So here's what it looks like with some values, negative 2xy. Notice the 3 has to go in the exponent of everything. It doesn't get multiplied by everything like the real distributive property, but it gets placed in the exponent, and you see the simplification there. Here we're asked to express the area of a square as a monomial. Well, the area of a square is base times height. That's also known as side squared. And since one of these sides is 4ab, we end up having to square that monomial. Now according to the power of a product rule, this 2 has to be applied to everything. But be careful, this is not 4 times 2. It's 4 to the second power, a to the second power, and b to the second power, which simplifies to 16a squared, b squared. Here's an example using exponents. We'll have to do our different rules. And first we notice that there's a monomial that's squared. So I'm going to take this square and I'm going to apply it to everything inside uh, of the parentheses. And I'm going to apply it to the exponent. So we end up with 1 squared over 3 squared. And then x squared. Then we're going to have y. Since we have a fourth power, that means we're taking a power to another power. So when we do that, we end up multiplying the exponents. So simplifying just this, we get 1 9th x squared y to the 8th. Now we're going to contrast that with the second one. Again, the 3 has to come in. And since there's a 2 already there, I'm going to have negative 6y to the 2 times 3 to the 6th power. Because when you take a power to a power, you multiply those exponents. And now I can take this 6 and apply it to the exponent of everything that's inside there. This is negative 6 to the 6th and y to the 6th. Now we have to multiply these two. Um, 1 9th times 6 to the 6th, or negative 6 to the 6th. Well, that's 46,656. So if you need to use a calculator for that, that, that's fine. Feel free to do that. And then we have times x squared. And then we have y to the 8th times y to the sixth. Well, when you multiply bases that are the same, you add their exponents. We learned that from the very first video. Here we're going to cancel off 46,656 and 9. We'll get 5,184. Again, you probably need a calculator for that, or it might take you some time. x squared, and then adding the exponents here, y to the 14th. So this is an example in which we use um, all three of our rules. We use the uh, rule where we bring an exponent in, we use the rule where we bring a power to another power and multiply, and we also use the rule where we multiply bases that are the same and we have to add their exponents. Here's some more exponent problems. We'll run through these so you can see the exponents in action. Uh, taking a monomial to a power means I have to apply that square to everything, so 3 squared. y to the fifth squared means you multiply those exponents and z squared. So final answer would be 9y to the 10th z squared. Second one, you're multiplying two monomials, so we'll multiply the number portions separate. Then we'll multiply the m, so this would be m times m squared. 
I'll just write this out so you kind of see what's going on. 4 times 12 is 48 with a negative. When you multiply bases that are the same, you have to add the exponents. So this is 2 plus 1. You don't have to write this step, about, step out, but I will just uh, clarify it for you. So this is m to the third and n to the third. Last one, you have to deal with the exponents on the outside first. So we have to bring them into everything. Negative 2 cubed. v cubed um, to the third power is going to be 3 times 3. And w to the fourth to the third will be w times 3. Now negative 2 times negative 2 is 4 times another negative 2 is negative 8. Multiply here, you get v to the ninth and w to the twelfth. Now we'll deal with this one over here. Bring the 2 into everything. Negative 3 squared, v to the 1 times 2, and w to the 3 times 2. Because when you take a power to another power, you multiply. So this will be a positive 9, a v squared, and a w to the 6th. And now we'll multiply these two monomials. Negative 8 times 9, v to the ninth times v squared. When you multiply bases that are the same, you add those exponents. And then w to the twelfth plus 6. Negative 72, v to the eleventh, and w to the eighteenth. 